Hey there, in this video I'll reveal some ideas about brain plasticity and how it relates to changing your perspective on who you are into maybe even gaining a sort of an outsider perspective. So first of all, you know, brain plasticity, if you've never heard about that, it's the observation that brains actually are pretty flexible and malleable, right? They adapt themselves to different scenarios, to your habits, to your lifestyles. Now, what does this mean in practical terms, in conscious understanding awareness terms? What that means is that, interestingly enough, you are not exactly your brain, first of all. Notice that because your habits, your attitudes are mostly conditioned there, right? If you never worked out a day in your life, you don't have the neural pathways to do that regularly. If you do that regularly, it's not a big deal for you to do that. Now, you might say, well, I am a type of person that likes to work out, that I, I work out easily with no effort. But that's not technically true. Your brain is adapted to turning on the pathway that initiates the habit of working out. But who is the you in this scenario? Now, this you know relates to the whole idea, spiritual, mystical idea, that you are not actually your body. In this case, you're not even your brain. Uh, you are the awareness behind it. Now, even if we don't delve into any esoteric terms, what that means is that you're not exactly the thing that is acting out these things. You're probably, at least your center of awareness, is mostly observing these things and kind of influencing them as much as you can. Mostly it's unconscious, but fundamentally it's the awareness behind that. Now, see, this sort of a change is very important to realize because most of us, see, and this relates to ego, by the way, because most of us assume that we are, we are this thing. The thoughts that I have are my thoughts and all of it is me. So when you enter a, you know, confrontational, difficult situation in your life, you know, mental difficult situation in your life, uh, you automatically assume that, well, this is me, and this is happening in me, and this is my problem, me, 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 me. Now, brain plasticity, interestingly enough, kind of reveals, I'd say, a, a spiritual principle, which means that, well, you're not exactly the brain itself. So all of the habits that you do, all of these things are malleable. And another interesting fact is that if you attach yourself to these ideas and you declare them your own, if you declare your negative or even positive habits as your own, you're kind of getting associated with them and also losing the ability to uh, influence them because you're too close to them. If you look at that further, you know, your lack of whatever working out habit, your lack of work ethic habit, uh, any even negative thinking habits, they are a result of brain plasticity. That means that you repeated certain patterns for a sufficiently long amount of time until it became so ingrained that you kind of automatically lean into that. Now, how does this apply in practical terms? First of all, there's a certain requirement if you want to start working with your brain plasticity. You have to, in my opinion, uh, dedicate some of your time for a certain awareness building practice. Because without that, you won't be able to gain the distance from your brain to uh, be able to influence the plasticity of it. So I would highly recommend some meditation, yogic, uh, maybe Tai Chi, Qigong, some type of be uh, practice that distances yourself from, so to speak, you and your system. Uh, the most simple of which would probably be just, you know, emptiness meditation, where you just meditate and go completely empty at the moment of the meditation. When you reach that state, right, and this is a gradual process, so you can do these things at the same time while improving at both of them, you will start noticing that you are more aware of the habits that are formed, the plasticity, the neural pathways that are formed in your brain. When you are aware of that, you can actually start uh, influencing them in another direction. Now, plasticity takes time, right, to de um, Developing certain pathways takes time, so the whole process of playing around with this takes time. But if you're not in the thing, if you're kind of distanced from it, well, then you actually can look at this at a more calm and rational manner, right? You you can okay in the next few months I'll be working on this specific aspect of my brain plasticity, so to speak, on these specific habits. 
And this also explains, right, the plasticity, why you have a tendency to come back to the same old habits. It's because they're literally built into you. So this idea of plasticity combined with the meditative aspect uh, produces a sort of a controllable, I'd say, maybe even conscious to a degree, uh, sort of a release, maybe a miniature ego death if you actually become aware of it because you realize that the things that you do are not actually you there are certain behavioral patterns that are inside of you and you can exert a degree of control on that but interestingly enough you don't have to focus on the thing itself you just have to look at it from a distance of how your plasticity you know how you can use plasticity to change certain behaviors and there are certain things that you can expect when doing that first of all that it will be difficult at first to remove a negative uh, have negative obviously because you want to remove it uh, an unwanted habit it'll be hard to remove that because it's ingrained into you second thing is it's natural to be slow at adapting new habits it's because there's no hardware for that when you're trying to do something new okay so you have to build it up from the grounds up and it will require a certain amount of effort for you to do that but it's only natural and if you do it long enough a pathway will build up and it will become easier and third i'd say it's a very practical science-based approach uh, approach uh, that legitimizes the uh, distancing that is you know in, in a lot of ways written in all kinds of spiritual texts and all of that because it's it's not a distancing yourself from life so to speak it's just understanding that you are not exactly the thing itself that is doing these things you are influencing these things but, uh, you know, the general ego death experience where you realize that uh, things are happening because this body has specific parameters. Things are happening because your mind, your brain has specific parameters. Things are happening because your psyche has specific ways of functioning. And if you become aware of those things, you can slowly influence that and on top of that, gain a sort of a spiritual insight where you are not as attached to all of these things and obviously being not as attached to these things will lighten your general attitude and will enable you more influence over the habits that you want to you know influence change or remove so if you have any questions hit them up uh, in the comments below and i hope this was helpful to you